Hello everyone, we will continue the topic usual ABAP class and in the previous videos, yes, we have written the logic in the usual ABAP class method and we have written the logic to fetch data from VBAK, VBAP table. We call the method inside the program and we displayed the output and usual ABAP class methods. Class methods are one of the best example of modularization technique. Now we will go for another requirement. Our requirement is same to same. The only only difference is rather than single sales document number now we will go for multiple sales document number. We will go for range of sales document number or we will go for multiple inputs of sales document number. Output is same to same. We will display the output of six column, four from VBAK, two from VBAP. And same to same example is explained in function module topic also. The only difference is at that time I took order header and order item table. Now we are taking SAP standard tables means sales document header and item tables. Now we all know very well whenever we want to give range or whenever we will want to give multiple values we always always has to go for select option select option so this is our select option this is called as low value this is called as high value and this is called as multiple selection Firstly, we will understand full select option and in the previous videos also during the function module and in a BAP programming when I explained select option, we put so much stress at that point of time also because we should firstly understand select option internally then only we only in that case we will be able to proceed. So firstly, the picture of select option should be clear in our mind. Suppose I will firstly put a break point and firstly we will understand select option because uh, now we want to go for multiple input or range of input. So firstly, we should understand the select option. Suppose I am giving a single sales document number and I am going to execute button. This is low value, low. Now, if I will double click on select option name, this is our select option. If I will open this select option, this select option is a internal table itself. Just see, we have four columns in the internal table. What are those four columns? Sign, option, low, high. What is the length of sign? Length of sign is character one. What is the length of option? It is character two. What is the length of low and high? It is character 10. Why it is character 10? Because our sales document number is character 10. If I will show you sales document number, our sales document number is character 10. That's why our low and high is of character 10. So a select option is always, always a internal table. This is the first understanding we must have and that internal table has four column sign option low high see as of now i gave low value so what is relational operator it is equal to equal to now suppose i am just executing now i am going for low and high both suppose 
4445 now i am giving low and high both so if i will show you select option so it has four column what is sign sign is i i stands for include what is the relational operator have you seen it is between previously it was equal to because we gave only low value now we gave low and high both so we have the relational operator between between suppose rather than range now suppose i will go for random value suppose suppose i will go for suppose 1 suppose i will go for 44 and i will go for suppose 47 i am now going for random values which are not in range so how it will be now you will understand fully why why i am saying it is a internal table if i will go to execute button and i will double click now you can see we have three records in the internal table and what are the number of columns four four what are the number of column sign option low high and what are the number of rows we have three rows in the internal table what is table it is a collection of rows and column what is the first row we put one relational operator equal to what is sign i i stands for include then we have 44 then we have 47 so select option is a internal table then i will come to that part also it is with header or without header so first important understanding is select option is a internal table of four columns now we will start with our logic part now we will not write the logic in the program. Our logic will be in the usual ABAP class method. So I will go to the usual ABAP class. Now, now it is totally, totally your wish. You want to take the previous usual ABAP class or you want to create a new usual ABAP class. It is totally your wish. Because in the existing class also, which we created in the previous video, I can take one more method. It ultimately, it's our wish in the project for every purpose. We are not creating individual classes. In one class, we will go for different, different methods and we will call those methods. Suppose, now I will give some name to the method. Suppose I am saying get, okay, suppose now I will give the name get multiple data so that we can understand that we are getting the details of multiple sales document number. Now, now I will take the method as instance method and it will be our public. I will give that description. You can create a new class also. It is totally, totally your wish to get the details of multiple sales document number. Now we will go for parameters. Now what is our input? Our input is sales document number output is details of sales document number but our input our input is not a single sales document number multiple sales document number whenever we want to go for multiple sales document number means yes we need to go for select option and we covered yes select option is a internal table internal table if you want a internal table internal table of how many column four column 
if you want a internal table of four column it means you require a structure type of how many column four column what are those four column sign option low and high so what we will do we will simply simply create a structure of four column now can you create a structure here using type statement you cannot create there is no provision to write a logic here using types statement so okay, what is the solution for the same we need to create a structure through which particular transaction code sc11 transaction code so what is the summary of the video in this video what is we took the requirement that now rather than single sales order number now our input will be range of sales document number multiple inputs of sales document number now based upon that firstly we understand yes whenever you want to go for multiple input or range of input you always always focused on select option a select option is a internal table of how many column four column sign option low high what is sign what is the length of sign one one what is the length of option it is equal to 2 what is the length of low and high it depends upon the column if i am creating a select option for sales document number so sales document number is of length 10 so low and high is automatically 10 suppose if i am creating a select option for matenar for matenar field then in that case low and high will be automatically character 40 so low and high depends upon the field for which field you are creating select option now after that we went to our usual app class we declared another method method is instance and method is public now in the next video we will go for input and output parameters based upon this understanding. So that's it in this video. Thank you.